Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Infected. Um, first of all I'm just going down to turn on the light and sound meter and then we'll talk about what we did in the last episode. So in the last episode, oh Mike's busy working, good. That bush is back again, it's determined to grow here. <laughs> so in the last episode, I think it was, we moved the last of our boxes up to here and started to organise them a little bit, although they could still do with some more organising. And now all of our workbenches are along here and the first floor is um, looking rather empty. <laughs> This box is, I think that's an empty box that I grab when I want to go to the mines. Uh, let me just check. I've got everything sharpened. That's not sharp. Um, so we might have had an attack last episode. I've forgotten. Um, but it's, it's quite likely. Oh. <laughs> Um, we might have visited the mines last episode or the one before. I've, uh, I just, I've lost track. I've done so many in the last couple of days. So up here, we built this um, ladder up to the roof, well, roofish sort of thing, and uh, put a railing around it so I don't fall off. And we're going to put power up here. We did originally put it downstairs, but it, uh, I decided to delete it and move it up here. It was originally not around there, I think down the bottom there a bit, um, or behind one of these huts. Anyway, I built this little, um, it, or, or I extended the walkway basically upstairs and it gave this little cover over here so I can put some fires here if I want to. I can move the fires from downstairs up here. I may or may not do that. Um, we caught a goat and put him in the um, barn. He's, he's, he's a he. Um, and we made sure he had plenty of food. Mike's been working hard at collecting pumpkins and watermelons. Um, what else have we done? Um, I think that's pretty much all. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything we've done. We might have we built a couple of these extras after the attack, the previous attack, but I'm not sure whether they were last episode or the episode before. Let's get rid of that bush again. I don't know why I bother, because it always comes back. <laughs> Every time I lock off, it's come back again. <laughs> but anyway, the sticks are useful on the fire. We made a second water thing as well at some stage, so that uh, I could pull it out. Um, and fill it with, with um, snow, if I can remember how to do it, oh here we go, or, or water depending on what the case is, and then I can cook it, which I might do now, so one stick, one light, we still have clean water in here, this needs refilling anyway. Let's put this away again. I need a drink. Might as well do that while I'm here. Um, I'll need to eat this ration too. We made some more rations at some stage over the last couple of episodes. But I really can't remember it, as I say. I recorded a whole lot in one go because I'm going to have a busy weekend and week. So I wasn't sure how much time I would have 
to be recording. This is quite being recorded quite late at night. I'm a bit tired, but um, anyway, we'll get through. Um, so what am I going to do today? Well, that's a question, isn't it? Mike's been busy filling these crates again. He's done a very good job. Um, they've pretty much got... Oh, do I need coal in there? No, it's full. Uh, I think I've finished all the building I need to do today for the moment. As I've got all of this space, I have no what, no idea what to do with. Those two walls are on back to front, but I don't care. I'm ignoring them because when they get bricked, it it won't show anyway. Oh, I built, built the clothing rack too. Um, and now we have our winter clothes on. I'll put the fibre. I probably could bring the fibre up here now. Now we've got the space up here for it. The only thing we actually need down here is the fuel because the only... Oh, don't want the map. The only place I'm going to be using the fuel is in vehicles, which are downstairs. Unless I get really brave and drive them upstairs like some people do. <laughs> They're not that brave. All right. Well, this will be fibre or something. Bark. Yeah. And here comes Mike with some more rocks. He's doing such a good job. Now put the fibre and the rope up near the workbench. And then everything is... Uh, Everything is where it should, well, not necessarily where it should be, but definitely in a better place. This might be... Um, I'll make it metal bars for now. There's aluminium in there. Um, most of the um, smelting stuff's here. Well, that would be much more sensible over closer to the um, forge, so I might uh, move it over instead of run, running from backwards and forwards from one end to the, of the room to the other. Alright, slowly getting there. So those were aluminium bars. And eventually I need to make some more logs and I guess there's not really a super shortage of wood. Now I've finished doing everything. Make some more um, chests, but I do want to start making the, um, the, the, the shelves for the, um, oh, I wanted to look at fragments, so let's call it fragments, so I know what it is. Um, I do want to start making the, the shelves for the metal bars. So that needs to go, doesn't go very well there, let's just put it here for now, doesn't matter if it sticks out a bit, um, yeah because I want to start, as I say, I want to start putting the uh, shelves up for the metal bars, although I won't, uh, um, build them, I'll just put the, the ghosts down for now. So iron ingots, put two. And then uh, copper, two.
Um, and I actually wanted to leave a bit of space between them. So um, a bit of a gap. I'll do the ones up above it later. I just want um, some on the ground. Aluminium. So then I can see where I'm placing them. Uh, aluminium. Cobalt. I also need to start working on a couple more extractors for the mine, um, but just one at a time, I think, because, whoops, wrong button. Um, yeah, I, uh, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, one at a time because I don't want to have to build more forges yet. And uh, uh, I know what's that one? Cobalt. All right, not what's next. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'll I'll be overrun with metal if I'm not careful. Uh, lead. Let's move a little bit. I don't really need that window there, do I? Um, still, I might just get these two in before the window. Helps if I press the right button. Yeah, yep, that works. Now what do, what do they need? 15 planks and 10 nails. Uh, how much iron? There are all. How much iron bars do I have? None. No, because I was saving all the fragments to upgrade the fences. Maybe I'll do that next. That will do four of them. I can probably um, do five weight-wise. That's what I'm looking at, is my weight. Now, tools. <laughs> Upstairs, I think, near my bed. No? Oh, yeah, downstairs. Downstairs by the gate. Or by the stairs, which I can't get to. Let's lift it out, take it upstairs. Now this would be an appropriate place for somewhere like weapons, wouldn't it? Let's put the, uh, the bow away for a minute. Pick up the Stone pickaxe. That's not. That's for repairs. Maybe I haven't even made the. Um... Um, oh, what am I doing? Maybe I haven't even made the. Um, Upgrade hammer yet? Oh, I don't need that. Let's have a, a look and see what I need to make the upgrade hammer. Um, 
upgrade to one stick and one iron in ingot. So I need to put the cooker on. Take those two out and put two lots of fragments in. Uh, one, two. Turn the fire on. And I've got nowhere to put stone. Oh well. This mic's been doing a good job. Let's put these uh, fibre away. I want to keep an eye on this because the uh, light will start galloping up sooner than I want it to. Although it seems to be behaving itself at the moment, it seems to be stuck actually. The last time that happened on a playthrough of mine, the, um, the value went up in the game even although it was stuck here on the thing and uh, I ended up having to uh, uh, reset the game because I was being attacked without knowing that an attack was coming. So I might have to reset. I hope not. Anyway, let's... Oh. I'll grab a stick, because I need a stick. And I'll grab a stone. I'm getting confused with games because I've been playing a couple of uh, test builds on, on this game. Now I'm confused as to what I've done where. Um, book. Hammer. Oh, yeah, I've got iron ingots. Right, let's go and upgrade some. They seem to like this area. Although I, th I thought I should have some... I do. I should have some sticking out there. They got destroyed in the last attack. Um, four. That's all I can do at the moment. Hello, Froggy. And I put these in the iron bars box. For a moment. Let's... Take this out, put these in. And I'll take the rest of the fragments out of here. Might as well take those stones out too. 
can go and upgrade another one or two. Oh, sorry, Mike. Where are you getting those watermelons from? You've been collecting stuff outside. Yeah, pat of fragments again. But slowly getting there, little by little, bit by bit. I should go and check, turn that light and sound meter off and back on. See if that resets it. Yes, that's better. So it was going up even though I didn't realise it. The numbers weren't showing. Have any of you had that happen to you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll keep going on this, see if I can get a um, a decent. Oh, hello, Mike. What are you? What are you doing? <laughs> You're so nice. <laughs> All right, iron bars one, lead plenty, iron fragments. So I've got enough to make steel, or I could make iron bars with it. And that would give me enough iron bars for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I might do that. Not that one. Iron ore. So the next load's going to be iron ore. Then I, I think I need to go to a town. I'm just worried in the winter about um, blizzards while I'm out. Um, because they can do significant damage. Yeah, yeah, I know, you're hot now. You're going to get cold again in just a minute. I'll take that last pumpkin too. It's a very good way of storing them though early game before you've got the metal to make the storage containers for them, storage crates. And they are a very handy food for the barn. Let's get some planks in in the uh, uh, shelves while I'm waiting. I'll just fill up on them. It's going to put the sound up as well. Um, so I'm going to need to watch the light and sound so I don't get two attacks at the same time. I'm just doing one of each for now. Not fragments. Iron bars. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. This thing.
course they're back to front. <laughs> I can never tell from the blueprint. Oh, shush. Well, let's have a drink. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take all of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another load. Oh, oh yes, it is still going up. Oh, sorry, I didn't trust that light and sound. Let's uh, get some more planks. Fill up the saw. Give Mike something to do. All right. Keep an eye on the light and sound. Stop one or other of them before they get to ten. Sorry, I'm not talking, I'm just I'm watching that uh, noise later. I don't think I'm going to put any more in the thing yet because I can't manage two lots of attack in one go. Not yet. When I finish doing the spikes, maybe. Alright, so I've got one set of each ready to go. It's interesting how they turn around when you put them down. This one's a little bit skew with. I didn't want the map. I wanted this to get up and put it back closer to that so that they're pairs, they're clear pairs. Right, bars. I've got some metal bars somewhere here, haven't I? Metal bars. Take them all. These are 
aluminium, I think. Copper. Yes. Take the frags out. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, Mike, you're not keeping up with the rocks. Put these planks down. All them down here. Right. Get my tool out. Do the next pile of uh, sticks. Yeah, that's all I can do. Mike's gathering rocks like a champion. I might just help him. There you go, Mike. Pick up these sticks while I'm here and stick them in the stick holder. And go on up and uh, see if the next stop's ready. Well, they're not far off. Two, four, six, eight, ten, perfect. Bit of a um, a work day today. Maintenance, you might say. All right. Anything else to do? I'll take that iron bar out and put it in the iron one, which is this one, I think. All right, so that can be renamed to Fragments as well. Oh. Um, steel's up to this end. Heavy. Copper. Cobalt. Change the name of this one to aluminium ore. Lead or iron or so I need another box for the um uh the blue ones. That's all right. I can make another box. One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven, eight, nine, ten. Another fence, pokey bits can get done. Oops, do on the outside. Do the outside ones first. Those ones are done. Next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
think I already had one in there. Oh, there's one too many. Right. Box. I oh, will use this one for now. Make some more when I go to the mines next. So this one is going to be cobalt. There we are. I might actually swap them around. So the fragments are on the end. And the ores are all together. Very good. Well, it's starting to come together a little bit. While we're waiting for this, we could go upstairs and start putting some blueprints down for power. So, let's see. Let's do... Some... Oh. I want to do... I don't think it really matters which way they go. Alright, that'll do a first start for those. And then let's put the um the long one. These things are facing out and a line along here. I better face them so I can see. If they're overlapping or not. I want to leave a little bit of a gap each end so I can get in and look over. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure I've got those all, all lined up properly. Doesn't matter, I'll uh, rearrange them once they're built. That's the start. down to the forge room, not wasting light value. And let's go and bang another pokey bit. Hello. Good on your mic. I've still got a few more to go, but, uh, well, Hedgehog Base is coming along. I 
so I think the next thing will have to be an, another extractor to go up in the mines. What I want is eventually to have four, so one that's doing just aluminium, one that's doing just copper, one that's doing just cobalt, and one that's doing anything. I know it takes longer to for them to do just a single thing, but ultimately, I, don't, I think it, it works out. If you specifically want one thing, I think it works out better to have each one individually. Got one lot of fragments that is extra each time, so I might just stick it in there. So what's that one? Lead. Yeah, I don't think I've got any lead melted yet. Oh, batteries. Got to put batteries upstairs while I'm waiting for the forge. Takes longer to do it this way than um, with with just one. Um, uh, one forge, but um, you don't get as many attacks, so you you're not having all those interruptions of attacks either. So let's put a few of these down. I'll put them along here, along this this line here. All right, that will do for now. Now get down the hole. Come on. That's it. Sometimes it's hard to catch on to the ladder. Okay, I'll bang the next one and then close the door so that uh, they can't get in. Don't forget those. Got time to get those while I'm waiting for the attack. Is this the next one? That's it. Now, Mike, you, I just, I'm going to shut the door. I'll bring this inside for a minute. No, that's not the one. It's this one here. I'm shutting the door, Mike. I'll I'll recall you to your bed in a minute. Hedgehog base is secured again. Alright, let's recall Mike. Still got a little while. It's not not even zero yet. But it'll upset Mike. And it's gonna be dark, so just what we need. Put you on repairs now. 
Right, make sure you've got enough repair stuff. There you go. Yep, got plenty of repair kits. Go and swap this out for a bow. Although I've, I've only got trank arrows anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Might actually take a second spear. I'm not expecting to need to use it, but sometimes it's safer to have a second one. Lots of time. Ten thirty. So I don't think we're going to get an attack tonight. But uh, who knows? Depends on the whether I keep the forge going or not. Not really anything else to do. So maybe if I, because last time I um, saved it just as an attack was about to happen so that I could do it in the daylight and it never happened. So uh, I don't want to do that. I might put the forge out in a sec as soon as these are ready. That will stop that light value going up and save it. Save the uh, attack for tomorrow. All right, Mike, I'll let you out. Open the door. Actually, I might open this one. It's got less hedgehog on it. Back here. Yep, that's all right. There's that the um values are not going to go up tonight so uh, I can bang another tip put the spear away didn't need to get it out and uh, get the hammer in my hand upgrade another one Next one along, she's that one. There we go. We're getting there, nearly at the end of the uh, hedgehog. They'll still attack these, I think, maybe. But uh, for the most part, it should be safe, I think. They were attacking them around this side last time. Around here. Maybe try to get up onto the rock to to get the base there. And I'm expecting them to try and attack this. That's why I've hedgehogged it so much. And here there's some metal bars to try and stop them getting in as well. Just to, I might leave this one a little bit more. Just to protect the uh, base a little bit. Oh, come on. All right. 
because otherwise they're going to attack these struts that come down here. And I need to put some spikes around here as well. But that'll, that can wait for another day. All right, so I'm going to call it a night here. And uh, thank you all for joining me again on this perilous journey of mine. Um, I've enjoyed your company and I hope you've enjoyed mine. And I'll see you all next time. Good night.